And new attend a harrowing experience for a Milwaukee firefighter grazed by gunfire while responding to a routine call. Tonight, he's sharing his story for the first time. I repeated, hey, I got hit with something, and then I check again, and then sure enough, there's blood. That blood turned out to be a graze wound from shots fired in a nearby alley. It was a close call for that firefighter. Katie Crowther is live tonight with more on what had to be a frightening experience. Katie. That's right, Carol and Charles. Frederick Coleman has never felt more thankful to be home safe with his family. He is a father of four. Today, I caught up with him as he was playing Legos with his five-year-old daughter, Layla. That's who he thought of first when he realized he had been grazed by a bullet. When it all went down, you know, you started thinking about, you know, how would your daughter and your children react, you know, by hearing the news. That's something that, you know, I wouldn't want to, you know, have my children go through. You know, I know I live, I, I'm working in a dangerous profession, but, you know, we try to make it relatively easy and, and safe for the most part. In this situation that, you know, that we were in, you can't train for anything like that. Coleman is an 11 year veteran of the Milwaukee Fire Department. He got into the profession because he wanted to help people. Around 1230 AM Monday, as he was helping a patient who couldn't breathe near 40th and Lisbon, he was shot at. The responding ambulance riddled with bullets. And all of a sudden I just hear, you know, the shots from here. It felt like they were right in my face. One of the bullets grazed his head. Luckily, though, he and the other firefighters and EMTs on scene were not critically injured, but he's angry it came to this. He hopes it will serve as a wake up call for the people in Milwaukee who seem to have no regard for human life. The respect for authority, you know, the respect for, you know, those who are actually trying to help you and not hurt you. Like I said, I understand the climate of what's going on, but, you know, there has to be somewhere where we have to begin to start respecting one another and respecting what we do. And I am so upset over what went on because I just felt like that was just a total disrespect. Now, Coleman says it's that respect for others that really is the key, not bulletproof gear or anything else. Now, he says firefighters are well trained in making sure a scene is safe, but how can you prepare when someone just starts randomly shooting? We're just glad he and his crew are okay. Reporting live, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. Yeah, we are all grateful for that. Katie, thank you very much.